plot of the third story uh, involves a mother and son pair of screenwriters who find themselves in Omaha, and as they are speaking to each other, they start to spin uh, possibilities for a screenplay that they might eventually write. And uh, Peg, played by Kathleen Turner, really wants to work on a new script with her son. That's the first story. The second story of the third story is, is this movie that the mother and son may write in the future, mm -hmm. and it's a kind of a B-movie gangster science fiction amalgam, and I play the queen of the mob named Queenie Bartlett, who's kind of the first lady of crime gowned in Dior. She um, finds out about uh, a scientist who found a way of, of cloning someone as they are at this moment. And then there's a third story. Third story, which is a Russian fairy tale that was created by Peg when uh, when Jonathan's character, Drew, was a, a small child. It plays kind of like if you were channel surfing between uh, TCM, uh, Nickelodeon, and... Uh, and Lifetime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or One Life to Live. Yeah. My agent sent me the script, and I was intrigued. And so they came over one afternoon, and we talked our way through the script. The next day I sort of thought, I think it'd be fun. So I called him up and said, yeah, what the heck? With the third story, you know, there are a number of themes that are very important to me. And one is how writers use everything in their life, in their, in their work, no matter how superficial even the work may seem. The choices you make come from something. You may not even realize it, but you know, writers cannibalize everything, every relationship uh, they have. Second of all, you know, there's a, a theme in all three stories of kind of painful battle of independence between mothers and their children, particularly their, their sons, and it's a universal theme, so it's really not just, you know, about writers, you know, coming up with an idea. Being a parent myself, it is, it is difficult to, to one day know what your child is doing every moment of the day and to have a part in all their, the activities of their life. And then in another day, have to relinquish all of that entirely. I'm so thrilled just to be back in, in this theater, the Lucille Hortel Theater. I have a history here, and I was so you know, overwhelmed when actually I got my star on the play, playwrights walk of fame. I live in this neighborhood and I'm always when I walk by I just want to make sure there's, you know, no no you know, gum on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, you know, I've been known to, you know, get on my hands and knees. You know. <laughs> I think that without off Broadway, without companies like MCC, we would rarely have a chance to explore, you know, new new material and that, that's just shocking. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>